Jonathan B.J. Hayes here, local realtor in beautiful Port St. Lucie, Florida. Welcome back to the home of Port St. Lucie Real Estate. As always, make sure you subscribe to the channel, share the videos, like the videos, and tell a friend about the wonderful things going on here in beautiful Port St. Lucie, Florida. So today, guys, I don't have a pretty house to show you. We need to take care of some housekeeping items. So here, this is the home of Port St. Lucie Real Estate. And in order for Port St. Lucie to reach its potential, there's some infrastructure things, key infrastructure that needs to be taken care of. That's why I tell you about the downtown that's being built and things that need to be added so we can keep the people that are coming here from all over the world. Today, we need to talk about this whole solid waste issue. Call it solid waste. That's what they call it. You and I know it as garbage. And the garbage has just been sitting for months now. And the city has been as proactive as they can be. We all know they're in conflict with Waste Pro. Now they've hired FCC. So I just want to give you guys an update of what's going on because I have people asking me about this daily. So here is where we currently stand. It is, you know, July the 11th. And here's our most recent update from the city council. So... Essentially, the city has taken on about nine garbage trucks that they leased to try to alleviate some of these issues. So, you know, forever, Port St. Lucie used to pick up twice a week the garbage. Where I live, it's Mondays and Thursdays. Fortunately, in my area over the last month, things are almost back to normal. That's just in my little piece of the city. Because other places... Garbage is still sitting for like a week. So the city has supplemented these nine lease trucks to try to help. All right. Unfortunately, the new contract with FCC does not start till September. So, you know, there's no recycling right now. It's just garbage and garbage only. So they're doing their best to try to make the best out of the situation until FCC takes over in September, all right? So in September, FCC does officially take over, all right? They've already got their site on Kings Highway. They're beginning to stack the containers, all the above. So we are a go. So they've asked for the next two months, let's make the best out of it. You know, Waste Pro is beginning to take on their services, Put up with them for the next two months. They're going to be out of here. So what is going to happen come September? So what I'm being told is once August hits, FCC is going to begin to start dropping off containers at everybody's house. So they'll leave them in your driveway if nobody's home. And you're going to get one 96-gallon um, cart that waste is going to be picked up once a week. They're also going to pick up recycling on the same day. So the new cart they're going to give you, you'll use that for your garbage once a week. And our old recycling bin, that will also come once a week. You are going to have to use these carts. So the days of just taking a trash bag sitting out, it's not going to work anymore because with FCC, Environmental of Florida, who's going to be our new hauler for the next 10 years, what's going to happen is there's going to be no men on it. So it's just going to be a truck with a driver. He's going to pull up, pick it up. It's going to dump and on to the next one. So we won't need as many people. And again, the pickup's only going to be one time a week. And recycling will be on that same day. Also, what they're going to have is we're still going to have a waste pickup and one time a month is going to be bulk trash. So if you've got a couch, you got a bunch of stuff that's not regular trash, 
once a month, you'll sit it out, they'll pick it up. Now, the schedules have not been determined. It's my understanding everybody will be mailed a trash schedule going forward. It has not been determined yet. So, we're going to go from two times a week trash pickup to one. And of course, we're going to see an increase in how much we pay. So that increase is going to come out to about $11.55 a month increase on what we're paying now. So that's roughly, what, $140 a year. Me personally, I would gladly pay that to make sure my trash is picked up on time and we can keep our place as beautiful as possible. Now, guys, that is the most up-to-date information that I have. As we get closer to September, you are going to, come August, be receiving literature in the mail. Hey, this is what you do. As always, if there is an update, you can. I will gladly keep us informed here right on this channel as we go along. I highly encourage all of you guys, leave a comment below. Tell me what's going on in your street and the improvements that you would like to see. Remember, Port St. Lucie, this is our, our town. We live here. We play here. Let's make it the best possible. As always, this is your local realtor here in Port St. Lucie, Jonathan B.J. Hayes. It's summertime. Everybody, we're living in a changing world. Keep your family safe. And until we meet again, everybody, stay safe and be blessed.